Alright, welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm Coach Evans, your host here with another draft video. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click the bell notification so when I drop these draft videos, you'll be one of the first ones to get them. Come in, see what we're talking about. Uh, hit the comment section also. Uh, if you like what you see, make sure you hit the like button. I appreciate, you know, likes are important, very important. Uh, as Vlad say, likes more important than food and water around here. So uh, hit the like button and if you like the content and I appreciate you being here today. Um, so with the, without further ado, the guy on the screen, I think most people that care about the draft know who that is. Um, I think Curly said a while ago in the NFL, your best um, something in the NFL is availability. But I beg to differ. I think your best ability in the NFL is versatility. And this is the poster child for versatility. So before we even get into film on him, I got a couple of clips of just him of him lining up in different spots. And this is against Florida State. If you really want to see his versatility as far as where he aligns, watch the national championship game. I didn't have the national championship game in all 22, but if you really want to see like all the different spots he line up at and the different things he does as a player, go back and watch that national championship game. He is all over the field everywhere so i'm gonna start off just by you know showing his alignments uh, against florida state showing his alignments against florida state and if you don't know this is isaiah simmons outside linebacker free safety uh edge guy um middle linebacker <laughs> he's every, he's clemson defensive player that's gonna be that's his title isaiah simmons clemson defensive player He's out there, you know, it's, it's trips left, and he's covering number two receiver. It's, um, they got a trips with a tight end, with an with H-back, maybe a wing, and he's kind of over the wing guy. I don't know if he's covering the wing guy. You see him highlighted there. Now he's on the line of scrimmage as an edge player. Look like he's about to blitz. And now he's sitting there as a stack backer. That they look like they're running a uh, four-three type look, and he's the, the I'm gonna say he's the Sam. Say he's the Sam. I'm gonna, I think that's the Mike. Uh, that's the Will. I'm gonna say that's the Sam. Depending on where the receivers are, I don't know where the receivers are on this one. So that's three different looks already. Just Florida State. Now he's like a, an outside uh, edge guy, you know, outside of number two. Splitting difference between number two and number one. And lastly, just lined up as a, he's in the, standing up in the A-gap. The stand-up guy, or some kind of linebacker. I don't know if he's going to blitz or whatnot, but just, that's what. One, two, three, that's six different alignments for Isaiah Simmons. And this is just the first half versus Florida State. Six different alignments. So as I started getting clips on different stuff he was doing, I got to halftime of this game, and I realized I already had like 14 clips. So I, I obviously I cut some of them out because we'd be here all day doing that. But just against Florida State, all the different things he did. And again, if you really want to see his versatility, even more than what I'm about to show you, check out the next championship game, which I know most of you probably saw. But let's go on right, right into uh, Isaiah Simmons' film. Covering the running back. So, Simmons is here. Uh, he has coverage on the running back right here. But let me let it play through because I forget how some of y'all get. Track that boy down. Now, his responsibility is the running back. His responsibility is the running back. So, now the running back is not going in a route, not doing anything. He's just standing there blocking. So, he gonna, now he's going to in turn just by. Waiting on the screen. The screen don't happen. So now let me go get this quarterback. Quarterback didn't stand a chance. Did not stand a chance. His closing speed is ridiculous. Now I got a fill and see gap. So, as an edge guy, this is Simmons right here. He's uh, in a, what's this? Uh, that's a 4-I. So he's in like a 7 or a 9. 
And so what he's going to do is he's going to take this gap and just blow it up. The run's going to try to hit up in here. Simmons is going to come so hard, Cam's going to have to bounce it. And that's going to allow the other guys to kind of flow to the ball and make the tackle. Watch how hard he take on this gap. Makita has no chance. I think that's Makita for Florida State. Has no chance. And Makita has the leverage because Makita's on the inside. So all Makita has to do is step here, seal that gap. Nope. Nope. Gap integrity right there. Look at that. Had Cam just try to force it in there, tackle for loss. Now by him making it bounce, this guy right here coming to make the tackle. Did his job. Control C gap. Control C gap. Now this is this is one of the things I'm most impressive impressed with with this guy right here. This is him right here. In space at 6'4, 230, guarding a number three receiver. And normally the slot guy is pretty fast, pretty shifty. He's 6'4, 230, guarding a number three receiver. They're playing man free. Just look at it, right, right in his hip. Right in his hip. And, and I, I don't know why I didn't put the back view on here. But if this guy doesn't come over and intercept this ball, he's in great position to catch the ball because he's turned around and looking at it. Like, and if, if the free safety doesn't come get it, he picks it off. But just look at this. How many yards down the field is this? They're on the 22, maybe. And this, this happens on the 40, 38. That's another what? 10, 20, 30, almost 40 yards down the field. He's still covering a guy. A slot receiver at that. It's crazy. It's crazy. This, this, this dude is, he's nuts. This is him right here. Running the alley. I got alley defender, but he's going to run the alley. He's going to run the alley. And defend anything outside of this dude right here. His job is defend from here to here in the run. He got he got that edge right there. His guy his his job is to defend all this in the run game. See jet sweep coming? Attack it. Just attacked it. See him right here. Just gonna come down. He, he see it coming from the other side. I'm gonna go set this edge. 47 almost makes it. I'm gonna clean it up. He's so versatile. He could cover. He could tackle. He could play in the box. He could play in space. Man, this dude would fit on any defense in the NFL. Any. All 32. I don't care what you play. 3 4, 4 3, 3 3 5, 3 1. He'll fit. Look at him. This is him right here. Play a free safety. He's the deep guy. He is the deep safety at 6 4, 230. Getting his good drop. Shadowing the quarterback. Quarterback moving. He moving. Shadowing him. Ball's thrown. He's going to try to break on it. He gets closer than the receiver to the ball. Ball lands right there. The closest dude to it is Simmons. It's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy how good this dude is just at 6'4", 230. He's out here in space again. Out here in space again. Now, I showed you covering the deep route. Watch him break on this short route. Right there. And if you didn't know where he, where he was positioned, let me show you. He's covering number two. He's going to run a little end route. He's going to break on it. Pop his feet. Read the route. Take it. He's playing the quarterback and the receiver. Recognizing routes. No drop, so he knows it's going to be short. Then he broke in. Let me cut this off. So this ball been thrown here. It's either been a KO or a pick or a pass breakup. Perfect um, position. Perfect position. At 6'4", 230. All right, not dropping the coverage. Now, he don't make a play on this ball, but I just saw how fluid he was when he, he flipped his hips and got to the flats. Just watch him right here. This him right here. He going to uh, flip his hips and get to the flats. Flip. Look at that. Like a DB. Like a DB. Oh, man, man. Wait, he might be a DB. Look at that. That's <laughs> I know some DBs don't get it drop. Don't get drops like that. He got depth and width at the same time. 
depth and width at the same time. And right up, he right up under the route. Whatever it is, he right up under it. Great position. Great position. <laughs> All right. In this game, I didn't find any flaws in it. Now, I know he had flaws, and, and you know, if you watched all probably 11 games, you would see him. But in this game, I didn't see any flaws in him other than maybe lack of effort a couple times. But when I saw that, other people was making the tackle. Closing speed on this one. All right. The reason I put closing speed on here is this right here. I'll show you. So, Simmons is right here, obviously, number 11. Running back gets the ball at a probably, he's on the edge a good five yards from, four and a half yards from, from Simmons. Watch how fast he get on. So within four yards, he didn't close that. It might not even be four yards. He just get up on him so fast because of them long legs and long strides. He get up on him so fast. Now coming to tight end. Uh, McKitty is, is a pretty agile tight end. Him along with, uh, I think Brevin Jordan from Miami, them two pretty athletic tight ends, and um, he's going to be all over. It's simple for him. Take away the inside, so all you can run is out, right on top of him. Now I'm going to go make the tackle on somebody else. Run to the ball. Closing speed again. This is the one that's scary. This is the closing speed that, that's scary. This is him right here, and I'm going to let this one play. Then I'll show you why I was so impressed with this speed from the uh, back view. Go get it. Now, I do have to show you something. So when Blackman gets out of here, this is Blackman. He's quarterback, has the ball. This guy's close. This guy's going forward, so he's close. And this guy coming. This guy coming, too. Look who gets close to Blackman first with all these guys close to him. Guess who? Guess who? Now, when you look at it from his back view, you better tell how fast he's closing on it. So fast, Blackman realized he can't even get out of bounds. Let me just get down. This is Simmons right here. Right. I can't even make it out of bounds. Let me let me get out before I get jacked up. This is crazy how fast this dude is. I wish I had some sound effects. And he let him know. Let me go back. He let him know. You better get down or I'm going to knock you out next time. You better head got down, I'm going to knock you out. All right, blitzing from deep. This is him playing safety back here. He's going to come all the way off this edge and have a C-gap. I think he's going to try to loop in. Yep. And he don't make a play, but the fact that you can have a deep safety come and blitz C-gap is, 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 is nuts. It's nuts. Now, in this film right here, you don't see a lot of, like, tackles or interceptions or or things of that nature from Simmons, but you just see him all over the field and impacting the game. He just he's all over the field and impacting the game. What name me somebody in the NFL that can play on every level of the defense. If you if you know somebody, put it in the comment section below. Name me one player in the NFL that can play D line, linebacker, and D B. Name me one. This dude finna come in the league and revolutionary rev, revolutionize the position. I wish I wish him all the best with whatever team he he get he goes to. I'm I'm looking for this guy to be top ten. Look for this guy to be top ten. And um that's really about it on Simmons. He's he's probably my one of my favorite players in the draft. And if, and if you know I'm a wide receiver guy. But this kid is probably one of my favorite players in the draft because of his versatility. This cat can he can do it pretty much all on the defensive end. Defensive end. Now, and again, this is this is your first time here. Make sure you hit that subscribe, subscribe button, uh, notification bell for when I drop these videos, uh, like button also, and then you know make sure you have that answer for me if somebody can play out three levels of defense in NFL in the comment section. And um, this again, this is Coach Evans from uh, City Tally Films, and this is Isaiah Simmons, Clemson athlete. I've been asked, how can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a Telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. 
So go on over to patreon.com backslash zip the tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans. And again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to patreon.com backslash zip to tally. <laughs> Yeah.